Hey guys, this is Steve from GamersNexus.net. And this is Dr. Gong. And we're going to talk about how to customize your desktop to make it look baller, just like it should for StarCraft II. And Dr. Gong, why would you want to do that with your desktop? Good question, Steven. The monotony of the Windows 7 theme is already accentuated on the fact that... <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's already accentuated. Oh, really? So... <laughs> So we're putting this off on it's Microsoft's fault. That's good enough. <laughs> yeah, it it can it can be Microsoft's fault. And uh, as you guys can see here, my desktop background is currently an Archon from StarCraft II. Obviously, what else would it be? Archons are cool. And uh, yes, Doctor Gon, what is your favorite StarCraft II unit? I would like to say the Blue Flame Hellion, but as I am Serg, I must admit that the Wiggly Brute Lords are my favorite unit. You know what my favorite unit is, Dr. Gon? I could say something very obscene, but I shall just let the, you say the it. The answer is Larva. Uh, That's so OP. Way too much health. Uh, no, I wish too much armor. Yes. <laughs> so we're going to customize your, your Windows theme to be just like StarCraft 2 or whatever you want. You can change it. It's pretty simple. We're going to go download a patcher. It'll essentially change core Windows files that allow you to implement that new theme because before Windows 7 didn't allow it. The patcher will be in the description below, so just download it. It's called the Universal Theme Patcher. I will be running the x64 bit version. You run 32 or 64 as is appropriate. Once you have it downloaded, you just go and launch it. It'll pop up a dialog box. Choose English, hit OK. It tells you this report says if you need the patch or not, click Yes, I do need the patch. And then you have these three patch buttons that, for you, should be available. For me, they're grayed out because I already patched it. Prior to changing any Windows core files, Dr. Gon, will you tell us what our users should do? They should grab coconuts, put lemon in it, put bananas, tomatoes, and a little serving of chicken parmesan. So, uh, unless you unless you want a full description of how to make chicken parmesan, and then I can just send you to my mom, and my mom will tell you. You know what, I think we should do a video of that next time for sure. Let's let's definitely we'll do. do one of those. If you guys think that's a good idea and you want to see how to do that, click the like button so we'll know. Or thumbs up, whatever YouTube does. The correct answer, though, is you should always update all of your files. You go to do a system restore, create a restore point just in case. Click those patch buttons, all three of them. You can close this once it's patched. And now we are going to actually get that theme on there for reals, yo. So we can go and download this Midnight theme that is a free theme for Windows 7. You can find any theme you want. A lot of them are on DeviantArt. They're free. Click download. And once it's downloaded, you just go find where you did it. You saved it and unzip. Go to that folder. Go to, the th to uh, we're going to look for, let's see. I already have it loaded. So I'm going to pull up where you should go. So once you unzip it, go to your folder with the themes. Just keep that open on the side for now. Open up a new window. Go to C, just like I am here. Windows, Resources, and Themes. And if you can't see this for some reason, you probably have your files hidden. So you just go to push the Alt button, click on Tools, Folder Options, View, and make sure all of these show hidden folders are, are uh, available. That way you can see it. So you see here that I already have the Midnight theme copied over. And again, we're just in C, Windows, Resources, Themes. Grab your downloaded Midnight theme, copy it, and paste it or drag and drop over to your Themes Windows folder. So it'll look just like mine is. Go inside. You should see these folders and the Midnight.ms styles. And uh, once all of that's done, we get on to the next part of actually applying that theme. So go ahead and right-click your desktop personalize and you'll see you have my themes if you have one selected and save that theme just in case you like it and then you can revert to it later scroll down you will see installed themes and uh, that's gonna be where midnight or the other one you downloaded appears click on that it'll apply and then you're ready to do customizations like the background I have or like the mouse cursor and Dr. Gon, why should people change what their cursor looks like? That is an obvious question. Actually, I will tell you the obvious answer. Because whenever you have StarCraft open, 
and you want to close StarCraft, you close it and you will never realize you actually closed it. So you will feel like the most starcraft as person in the world. That is correct. So we're going to change that cursor. This is also easy. You just go ahead and download a StarCraft II cursor set or whatever game you want to make it. I'm sure there's some kind of cursors for Skyrim that'll be available at some point. And go to, you know, go to Google, your favorite browser, find it, download it. And once you've done that, we're simply going to take those cursors as I have here in my custom desktop folder, grab the cursor set, and we see inside here there's a 24 pixel version and a large version. Keep that open to the side, open control panel, uh, go to mouse, and click on pointers. And now you'll see that you should, unless you've customized it before, you should have none selected, which looks like this, the typical black and white cursor. Click on normal select, then click browse, and you see here in the drop down that we are in C Windows cursors. With that information, you can close this window, open up another new window, go to C Windows cursors, and you can take your new StarCraft 2 or Skyrim or whatever cursor set, copy it, paste it over here just like I've done here, and I put it in a new folder so it's not too cluttered, and go into that new folder, and here are all your cursors. After you've done all of this, you can go back to your mouse properties window. If you closed it, just control panel, mouse, and then pointers. Click on normal select, click browse, SC2 small for me, or whatever your folder is. And then I'll choose SC2 cursor small. And that's how it happens. You can also do this for each of the other ones. They should be named appropriately by the creator. So we have a help select. We have working in the background and all of those. Once you do this for all of them or most of them, I believe there's not a handwriting one. You can always make more, but it's okay to just leave the, leave the ones default that you don't have. Once you do all this, click Save As, type a name for your scheme, and save it. And then whenever you want to revert to this theme or remove it altogether, you can do so, and you still have it there as a backup. Click Apply and OK, and that'll set your cursor. So now that you've done the cursor and the desktop, or the theme of the desktop, you can grab your wallpaper, which is pretty easy to do. And uh, Dr. Gon, can you tell us what your current wallpaper is or what your future wallpaper will be? My current wallpaper is one very nice girl looking at a city, but my next wallpaper will be Destiny's background for Zerg. It says, live for the swarm. Swarm for the live, yes, yes. There we go. <laughs> You're a killer, man. You're after, a killer. After uh, you've done, after you find your background, which hopefully you've done by now through our horrible, horrible jokes, you just right-click it, and uh, I'll do a demo here with this one. Set as desktop background, and then click stretch or whatever you want to do there, center. Everyone mostly knows this. So now you've got a complete desktop. Uh, you might be noticing that your taskbar isn't completely centered like mine. If that is the case, right-click the taskbar, click Properties, go to Taskbar Buttons, and choose Always Combine Hide Labels, which it can be annoying for productivity, but it looks cool. So we're going to do it for now. And uh, then you can unlock the taskbar, center it if you want to, just like I've done here. And the way I did that was I right-clicked it, Go to Toolbars, New Toolbar, and create a folder anywhere you want. So I named mine Blank Toolbar. Select that folder like I did here, or unclick Show Text, and unclick Show Title. Then you just repeat that process. Drag one on the left side of your toolbar, like this. Well, I've already got one over there, but drag one on the left side and do one on the right side and then you just drag these sliders closer and you can center it however you want it to be. Now mine still says blank one toolbar because I already have two on here so I'm just going to remove that one and once we've removed the unnecessary ones there you go and now we can just drag and center however you like just like that and once you're done with that right click and do lock the taskbar again and that's it for the custom themes. 
Next we will have a custom login screen so whenever you turn your computer on you'll see a cool background pop up or a, a different uh, control delete screen. You're familiar with when you hit control delete if you do it right now in the typical Windows 7 arrow theme it'll pop up a blue background with the lock and taskbar and all that stuff. So we'll show you that next video. We'll also show hopefully custom sound so you, if you want to you can make it sound like a ghost saying it's getting too hot. Instead of that dink, you have a marine yelling blah blah, blah and uh, all that. Good you're stuff. talking. About, you're talking about brood war, my friend. Now it's the ghost that yells blah every time they die, so it doesn't happen as often. The ghost is uh, is quite dramatic in his death. Of course, we all prefer the good old high templar. Marine. Oh yeah, right. Yes, yes, we do. Can you do your High Templar impression for us there, Doctor? No, you you must do it. I am no I am no good at High Templar impressions. I'm afraid you guys will have to wait for that impression next time because we are over our time, so definitely look out for our custom login screen and our High Templar impressions once we've perfected them. Hopefully that tutorial worked for you. If you have any problems, just comment and we'll go ahead and answer those questions for you. Be sure to subscribe for more videos. Subscribe, subscribe, it really helps us. Comment, like, whatever you have to do. Share it with your friends. Be sure to like us because we like you. Just tell everyone in your Twitter and your Facebook, hey, check these guys out. They will help you pimp your desktop up. That's right. Except maybe in not such a creepy way, but they get the idea. So again, this is Steve from GamersNexus.net. And this was Dr. Gung. And we will help you guys out next time. Thank you very much. Peace.